guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little product review sla slash swatches slash demonstration for you. And I want to first apologize for my lighting. Um, I usually like to use a natural light plus a little bit of studio light on either side because there's a window here. But um, you know how it gets dark later and Today, it seems like it's just super overcast, but it's like really hot. It's, it was, I think it was like almost 80 degrees today. And, um, but overcast, so it's like earthquake weather. And if you live in California, you know what I mean about earthquake weather. It's kind of spooky. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do a review <laughs> of card. So, let's get back to what this video is about. The Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. And this is a limited edition um, palette at Sephora. So um, I actually saw online that it might be sold out. Hopefully it's not because I think this is a really great deal. It was, I think it was like 65 or $68 and it comes with three smaller size of the ambient lighting um, powders um, and one ambient lighting, ambient lighting powder is, I think it's like $45 um, for one. And then, granted, they're about double the size, but for $65, you're going to get three of them. So this one right here, guys, this is called Dim Light. And this is a darker, let me swatch it a little better. This one is a darker, less shimmery. It doesn't really have, it's more of a matte. This one in the middle, this is the limited edition shade. And this one is called Incandescent Light. Now, this is a um, more of a highlight. It has a shimmer to it. And this one right here at the end is called Radiant Light. And this has like the prettiest orangey tone to it. They are extremely light, um, very finely milled. Let me show you on my hand. And you can, they rub in so well that you can't even see them in swatch. They don't swatch well. And I've seen this on many videos. Let me try to swatch more for you. You can see it now. So this one is the Radiant Light, this one is the Incandescent Light, and this one right here is the Dim Light. So notice the Dim Light is pretty matte. Does that help? I'm going to show you because I was going to put them on my face. I'm using these. So I'm going to put the Dim Light, which is this one right here, all over just to set my face. Now all I have on right now is I have a little bit of a matte blush, and um, I used a taupe um, contour so I didn't put any um, and I just used a translucent powder earlier to set my face so we're gonna just dab on the dim light then I'm gonna take the um, radiant light right here and I am going to just go over my blush which this is what it's really good for and you don't need that much you can already have your face done completely done and then you put these over your current makeup and it just like almost diffuses the light. It looks like you you have like the softbox lighting just always on your face. It it kind of diffuses any wrinkles that you have, any big giant pores that you have. That's pretty much what these these powders do. They're they don't give you a coverage. They don't cover at all. They're just there to diffuse the light. So it's um like like they're called ambient lighting it's almost like you have like a soft box kind of on your face so i'm gonna put the radiant light just right over my blush and you don't and you don't need a lot it's just so light and you can you see it kind of already gives my face a little bit of a glow and i'm hoping you can see because my lighting is horrid right now so it just gives it a little bit of a glow and i'm actually just gonna go over because it is a warmer color, I'm just gonna almost like where I would contour. So let me go closer. And you can see. Then I'm gonna take my um, big giant Kabuki fan brush, and I think this is from Coastal Sense, I believe. And I'm gonna take the middle one, which is the limited edition, the incandescent light. And I'm just going to tap the very edges of it, not use a lot. And I'm just going to sweep it right here on my cheeks. And 
and down the bridge of my nose. It just um, gave my face a little bit of a glow. I was pretty skeptical about buying this palette, um, about even trying these, um, the hourglass ambient lighting, because I, you know, I'm a grease ball and I don't like a lot of shimmery um, highlight on my face. I feel like it emphasizes my pore size and it emphasizes the greasiness on my face. But these so nice that even my large pores and greasiness, it actually does the opposite. It um, diffuses the light to give the appearance of smaller pores because it kind of just reflects light without being glittery or shimmery. Um, the dim light, which is this one right here, because it is a matte shade, you can actually set your face with it like I did before um, without without it being so heavy on your skin. So that was my very quick <laughs> sort of review. Um, I apologize about the lighting. I'm not sure if I'm even going to film anymore today because I'm just, I'm having issues, you guys. <laughs> lighting issues, camera issues. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye guys.